do subscribe to Ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering, HSE and IIT JE main and advanced videos. Hello students, today we are studying chapter human health and diseases. In that we are studying topic barriers of innate immunity. Now when I say barriers, it means certain boundaries that help innate immunity to survive inside human body when infections are present. Let's study a little bit more about these barriers and how does that work. Innate immunity barriers. Now when I talk about innate immunity, it means immunity that you were born with. You are born with innate immunity. It was given to you by your mother at the time of your birth. It was present. Now innate immunity relies on certain barriers and these barriers could be phagocytic barriers, inflammatory barriers, anatomical barriers or physiological barriers. Anatomical barriers. Now when I say anatomy, it means upper surface of your body. The anatomical barriers would include your skin or microscopic porous regions present on your certain dermal regions of skin. When I talk about physiological barriers, now physiological barriers could include the temperature of your body which is always 37. The pH of certain regions of your body, for example stomach will have acidic pH due to exhale secretion which will not allow certain organisms to harbor or to grow at that particular region. Even your alkaline pH stops certain acidic or basic creatures to grow in there. When I talk about phagocytic barriers, now phagocytic barriers could be cells of your body or immune cells that actually consumes other cells. Now these phagocytic cells could be WBCs, neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils and all of them. And lastly inflammatory barriers. Now when I talk about inflammatory barriers, these barriers could include histamines, prostaglandins, interleukins, cytokinins, all of them. Barriers of innate immunity. We can say this in a simple manner the walls that actually form the foundation of innate immunity or inborn immunity. Now, innate immunity has basically four different kinds of barriers in every individual present, and these four different kinds of barriers work in an alternative form to that immunity to work properly. Now, the first barrier could be anatomical barrier. Now when I say anatomical barrier, it means the upper surface of your body, your skin, the first part of your anatomy. Now these barriers that are preventing entry of mucosal organisms in the body. These physical barriers basically includes the skin and the micros membrane. Your skin has epithelial layer, the topmost layer and beside that there are different kinds of layers that are present. Compound epithelium, squamous epithelium, ciliated epithelium, all such depending upon the organ you are talking about and the region which is present. Now this skin surface does not allow the entry of organism. It's impermeable to most of the materials that we see in day to day life. And that you can say is the first line of defense mechanism in terms of barriers for innate immunity. The next barrier could be a physiological barrier. Now this physiological barrier is your body temperature which is approximately 37 degrees Celsius in every individual. The pH of your body, this pH of your stomach region which is acidic 
due to the presence of HCL in that region and we all know that HCL of period 3.5 is present in your stomach region which would hamper or does not allow the growth of other microorganisms. Your body secretions which could include certain salts that are eliminated especially during the process when you are sweating. Gastric juices, lysozymes which can be termed as phagocytic enzymes or phagocytes or suicide bags of a body if I can say in simple language. phagocytic barriers. Now when I talk about phagocytic barriers, this type of barriers basically involve your neutrophils, monocytes, leukocytes. Now they are the type of white blood cells and their family of white blood cells have different functions in totality. They look differently in the microscopic picture or stain differently but they have a common function in all. That is they engulf certain antigens or certain microbes which they are given upon. Now, inflammatory barriers are the last kind of barriers. When I say inflammation, it means a sudden response to a trigger immune antigen. The body is protected through secretions of certain chemicals like histamines, prostaglandins, which give inflammatory response to an invading pathogen. What do we mean by this? For example, if there is an entry of pathogen inside your body, at that time, your body would produce this histamine chemicals that will elicit an immune response and call all other cells so that they can come and fight to this infectious organisms. Students, this was all about the barriers that were present for innate immunity in your body. And every individual among us have all the four barriers. I hope students, you all are clear about this concept. Thank you.